for what I do for a living, to, like what I normally do, like what I'm known for, is uh, if 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 anyone knows, is uh, is using new techniques and technologies to kind of push forward the boundaries in both food, cooking, what a lot of people call, I think unfortunately, molecular gastronomy, it's a horrible term, please none of you use it when you're speaking to me, unless you have a lot of time to have me yell at you for why it's such a crappy term, mainly because it sounds ter terrible, like it tastes nasty. But uh, this is kind of what I'm known for. I also do it a lot in, uh, in cocktails, but really that's only the tip of the, of the pie. How many of you guys uh, have read like On Food and Cooking, Harold McGee? Yeah, some of you? Go out and buy it if you don't, if you don't have it. Really. I think what, what is important isn't that you use a piece of technology or that you use a new piece of equipment. Really, it's that you try to understand uh, what it is that's going on when you're cooking. For me, it's cooking and making drinks. That's what I do for a living. I don't know what you guys do for a living or what you want to do for a living, but I think the same kind of concept applies. And the way to become creative in it isn't necessarily use a new fancy piece of equipment. It's to become unhinged in a very analytical way. Right? And so I think like, that's the whole premise of creativity. People ask, how do you think of this? How do you think of that? Why do you come up with this? Why do you come up with that? And it's because over years, I've built up a large memory in both my hands, my mind, and my palate of what different things taste like, how different things cook. And I, I remember almost all the tests I've ever run, right? And I observe and I record because anytime you're gonna try to advance, you have to observe and record and record your mistakes because most of my best most of my best ideas have come from things that I considered originally to be mistakes.